I have watched, I have studied, I have learned. You usually find a rhythm to doing your finger coiling. You may find that many of your curls are going in the same direction, so it makes it easier when you are. And I'm ready to do this. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're brand new here, hi, my name's Courtney, and I enjoy using tips and tricks from the Curly Girl Method to improve the health of my hair. I also love playing around and experimenting and trying new and different application techniques, and today I am trying finger coiling. <gasps> this magical method of applying products to your hair and styling your hair that will magically make it curly or so I'm told. <laughs> I have tried this technique once in the past, but it wasn't too terribly successful, and it took a lot of time and a lot of effort, so I never tried it again. But I ask you guys what you would be interested in seeing, and a bunch of y'all suggested finger coiling. But not only finger coiling, finger coiling with the Mains by Mel technique. I love her channel. She is absolutely amazing so much fun to watch and she is incredibly informative and thorough with her information so if you haven't heard of her already please go check out the link down below and yeah you're not going to be sorry she's amazing so i'm going to be following her technique today wherein you grab much smaller sections of your hair and yeah i totally forgot something to section my hair with hold on <laughs> Also, I have already washed and conditioned my hair with Trey Lux products. We know how these perform. I have used them a couple different times here on my channel, and they are so, so high quality, good products. I know how they perform, so I'm not trying a different application technique with brand new products. I'm trying this application technique with products that I am accustomed to. So here we go. Let's get started. I have left my hair in this lovely reusable shower curtain because I wanted it to stay really sopping wet. You know what? I should have put my towel around my shoulders first. One moment. I'm wearing a cape now. Does that make me a superhero? So even though my hair is still pretty wet, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more water to my hair just for insurance. All right, then you take a little bit of product and you work it into your hair. Not a lot, but you want a thin coat of product all over your hair. And for that, I will be going in with the Trey Lux Reflex Serum. It's their Curl Styling Serum. It's botanical, lightweight, and anti-frizz. It's meant to give you flexible hold for curly or wavy styles without sacrificing bounce. And the cool thing about this product is that it provides enough slip that it glides through your hair very, very easily, but this isn't a very hard hold product. It's slippery and gives some medium to light hold, but it's not crazy, crazy hard hold. So it'll be perfect for trying this finger coiling. I'm grabbing about a teaspoon's worth. and I'm just getting an even coat all over my hair. There we go. And then I'm going to section off the bottom layer of my hair. I have a stool that I'm sitting on and I'm feeling like that was not a good idea. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Okay, let's start this going to part my hair down the middle. You know what else I need? I need a mirror in here. That would be helpful. One moment. Perfect. All right. Now I can see, sort of. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, 
stay out of the way section. Now, you're not supposed to grab gigantic sections and you're supposed to make sure you have just a little bit of product on your hand as you do this. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 what is happening? start trying to do something new for the first time there are always hang-ups all right so I have just gotten set up with a mirror in here I've decided to stand up because I don't think I could have done this while sitting down you know what I think you'll need to go up just a little bit there we go now I'm not hunched over while I do this okay <laughs> now we're ready to start after watching Mel's video, she does not grab just gigantic sections of hair and she always started by twisting the hair away from her face and then seeing if it wanted to go that way. She would give it a little shake and that doesn't look like it was supposed to. So I'm going to try twisting it the other way and see if it wants to curl towards my face. And that doesn't look any different. You know what? Using a light towel may be better for this. Oh my goodness, anytime you try doing something new for the first time, there's always a learning curve. So give me grace on this video. It's already a hot mess. All right, so I started trying to finger coil and you couldn't see anything I was doing because of the dark towel. All right, so I am just going to be grabbing a small section of hair. Mel talked about that if you grab a section that is way bigger than your curl, then it won't work. I do not have very tight curls like she does, so I'm gonna grab slightly larger sections than she did. Um, just because my curl pattern isn't super tight. And then she gave the curl a shake to kind of see which way it wanted to go. I'm gonna see if scrunching it does anything. Yeah, so no, I did not do that right. So I tried curling it away from my face first and it didn't curl up into a ringlet. So I'm going to curl it forward and see if my curl wants to go that way. Maybe a little bit. We'll put that one out of the way and we'll just keep going. Most of my curls seem to be going forward, so I'm not going to curl them backward. I'm just gonna curl them forward. So far, not that impressed but trust the process. And my towel is not working. <laughs> this is one of those days. Making sure I have just a tiny bit of product on my hand so that there is some slip on my fingers. Going to curl this one.
thought maybe on the other side of my head they would maybe go the other way, but they're not. Or maybe I was just grabbing sections that were too big. Because now I'm curling them away from my face and it's working. They're not falling apart. One section down. Alrighty, I am 100% dry and now I'm ready to scrunch and fluff. And I kind of got a bit of a crunchy cast on the ends of my hair. Clearly I got more of that Trelux gel on certain sections on my hair. But here we go. Alrighty, there we go. This is my hair 100% scrunched out after doing the finger coiling. Y'all tell me what you think. So, comment down below. What do you guys think? Was finger coiling my hair for 45 minutes worth it? Did it make my hair curlier? Y'all know my hair just about as well as I do at this point. Looking at, <laughs> looking at older videos, y'all know kind of how tight my curl pattern usually is. So I will say I do feel like that there are pieces that are more sort of curly than normal, but it didn't create ringlets where there weren't any. Um, I do think it encouraged some more uniformity. And to be very fair, this is the first time I'm trying this. And as with everything, you get better and faster with practice. It's possible I use slightly too much product. It's possible I didn't use enough. But really, this was a really fun experiment. I don't think this is going to become my new favorite way to do my hair, but it definitely worked way better than the first time I tried it. So that's exciting. But seriously, I really would love it if you'd comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And is this something y'all have tried? I'm really curious. Have y'all tried finger coiling? How did it work for you? What are your thoughts? I'm dying to know. All right, guys, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.